Okay, what we're going to be looking at this morning is how to use the Site Manager in Composer so that you can edit pages in more than one web website at a time or do multiple pages. So the first thing you want to make sure is that the Site Manager here is showing. If it's not, and we're going to close it for a second, if it's not, you just come up to the View menu here, go to Show Hide, and choose Site Manager. You can also use the F9 key to toggle the Site Manager on and off. Second, you want to get some uh, uh, get your websites listed in the Site Manager. So you go to this icon where it says Edit Sites. You click that, and you fill in all your site name information here: site name, address page, and type in your FTP information down here, and your username and password, and you're good to go. Once you have that, you can just go to your, uh, don't forget your path, the path to your either htdocs or public.html, uh, public underscore html, I'm going to show you where you put that here just very quickly. Uh, let me choose this one and you'll see right here we have the path to the, um, to the uh, folder where our html pages are, to the directory. So then when you want to edit pages, you can just click on the little plus sign next to the website's name and it'll log on for you. In a second we'll have it up here. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to open, uh, I think we're going to open the readme, readme, readme HTML. There you go. And within a couple seconds it opens that page. So now if you want to go back and open a page on a different server. You just click the plus sign next to that one. And I guess what we're going to do here, we're going to go for the same file since they're both, um, these are both WordPress sites, so obviously there's not a whole lot of readable pages on there. And we'll scroll down to where we can get to the README page on the second server. So what you'll notice is up here now you have two tabs. One of them is for the first page we open and the other is for the one that's opening right now. And there you go. So that's about it. That's how you use the file manager. It's that simple. Um, I hope that you look, grab, <laughs> got something from this video and uh, look forward to, to, to teaching you something new on the next one. Thanks.